Hi, I'm Christops from Joinshaw Software team of SPH Engineering. We're very excited to announce the release of Joinshaw Software version 4.0. In this video, I'll showcase the most important changes and new features of 4.0. Please watch this video until the end, where I'll also tell you about professionals trained by Joinshaw Software team who have been forming a global Joinshaw community. We've designed this version with large fleets in mind. So during the installation, you'll be able to choose the amount of DSS VSMs or Joinshaw Software vehicle-specific modules to be installed. Each of them can handle up to 250 drones. So, for example, by choosing to install four VSMs, it will be possible for you to run 1,000 drones simultaneously. The DSS controller has also been optimized to handle a fleet of 1,000 and more drones. Also, in this version, loading UAVs as well as assigning paths by locations now takes less time. Fleet Simulator was introduced as a replacement for Sittle. Fleet Simulator is a lightweight simulator that allows you to run more than 1,000 virtual drone instances without significant load on the CPU. Fleet Simulator is run from the service manager on the same computer as DSS. It's no longer necessary to use a virtual machine for this. One of the most noticeable changes will be that DSS 4.0 is now a standalone installation. We have removed the need to have UGCS installed before installing Joinshow software. If you are upgrading from 3.3.4, then simply save your configuration, uninstall DDC 3.3.4 as well as UGCS and install DSS 4.0. License activation and deactivation are now done from the DSS controller. Now all the features for which UGCS was used before are available from within DSS, including the 3D view, license activation window, as well as editing drone battery profiles. We have added a customizable pre-flight checklist to DSS controller. Similar to manned aviation, before the flight, the Joinshow operator should go through the checklist and tick off all the completed steps before launching the vehicles on the show. We have also reworked the 2D map interface. Now all the settings are available on the right sidebar in the 2D map view. You can switch between the settings tab and the drone profiles tab using F2 and F3 keys. We've done a lot of work on our new firmware. Main performance enhancements include the support for longer drone shows than before and higher frame rate shows, giving you the ability to use various strobe and light gradient effects, changing the color of the LED up to 30 times per second. In this new version, there's also no need to restart the drones after path upload. And now you'll have the ability to set vehicle takeoff and move the position speeds more accurately. Send a request to our support team to find out about the possibility of installing this new firmware on your drones. There are a lot of smaller changes that we have made that you will see on the screen now. They're also described in our release notes sent out together with DSS 4.0. Over the last five years, Joinshaw Software has been uniting like-minded people, and we're proud to see how the community has grown and how Joinshaw providers are working in different countries, interacting and expanding their business. We've gotten many requests to create a joint knowledge exchange and communication platform, and we're very excited to announce that we've been working on it and the new stage of the community development will be made public very soon. This is why we're asking all of you to become a part of that, our new Joinshaw Global community, We'll have its own website, forum, and social media channels. To find out more details and become a member, please get in touch with our community lead Diana at diana at ugcs.com. And that's it for this video. We hope you'll like the new features we've added and that you'll become a part of a rapidly growing Joinshow Global community. Thank you, and as always, if you have some questions, please send them to us at support at ugcs.com.